Hi there, Ryan Rastel here for GolfShake.com. We are at Dundonald Links here in Ayrshire, Scotland on the 18th hole. It's a par five, I've hit my tee shot and found myself, as always, in the rough. Now, it's a shot where, I've, it's a par five hole that we're playing. I've got over 200 yards, probably about 245, 250 from where I am to reach the green. That's not even a consideration of mine at the moment. The lie, as I'll just show you right now, is not great either. So it's settled down in some of this longer, wispier sort of rough that you find just off the fairways here on many links golf courses. Now, this is a shot that when I've played in pro-ams with amateurs and you know, I, I see a lot of people out on the golf course um, when I'm back home playing, they just try and do too much with shots like this. A lot of the time it's just a case of getting the ball out, back into play, and when you're playing Lynx golf, we've got to consider where all the trouble is as well. So here, I've got a couple of bunkers in front of me. So there's a pot bunker on the left-hand side of the fairway, a couple on the right-hand side, about 120 yards away from me. Now, this uh, ball sat down quite a bit, but I'm going to talk to you about things you can do technique-wise to help you get the ball out of rough like this and hopefully advance it somewhere forward and give you a chance of getting on the green in three. So. Generally what people do is take too much club out, out of um, situations like this. Now, I've got an eight iron in my hand here. Normally, an eight iron for me, stock eight iron's about 165. So I'm not thinking that this ball is gonna come out and land 165 out of this lie, because it's absolutely not. But what it may end up going that far if I use the fairway to my advantage. Now, the bunkers I've got in front of me are, like I said, about 120, 130 yards. So a good strike with this, I'm gonna get over those. Um, so the way I bring about a good strike out of a lie like this is, is all to do with setup. So what I'm gonna try and make sure I do is be a little bit steeper into the ball, make sure I hit down, get to the bottom of the grass and hopefully get this ball coming out. So what I'm gonna do in my technique to help me do that is just shift the ball back in my stand to touch. Now, the other thing to consider as well is this wispy grass can grab hold of the hosel of the golf club can make the face turn over a little bit as well and then we hit lower shots that generally go a little bit left so I'm going to protect against that a little bit by trying to be nice and firm with my hands and wrists through it not let the club rotate and turn over and hopefully kind of guard against that bit of a left shot there as well so I'm just going to grip it that little bit firmer try and hit down on it a little bit more and hopefully get this ball running down the fairway somewhere. Good, so that's come out nice. Um, it's running down there over all those bunkers. It's come out a little bit lower than I'd normally hit an eight iron and that's obviously due to the lie. We're not gonna get the same sort of spin so it's not gonna stop. Um, so it's probably ended up going about the sort of normal stock yardage I would hit an eight iron but it's just come out that little bit flatter and we're using the ground to our advantage to set up a shot into the green and hopefully try and make a birdie or a par. So hopefully that'll be useful. When you get out on the Lynx golf course, don't go for too much out of the rough. Play it safe, get it out in the fairway, use a bit more loft, and try and use that technique that I've just talked you through there.